farmlands have multiple sustainable land management SLM, practices available. Some are traditional, others are recent and are evolving to meet farmers' needs. SLM prevents soil loss and helps build up organic matter. But for ecosystem restoration, upscaling is key. Fortunately, production and conservation go hand in hand, and positive impacts of SLM gives farmers an incentive to do more. Here are some examples. Conservation agriculture is spreading worldwide. It is based on three principles, minimum soil disturbance, permanent cover, and plant diversification. In Tunisia, there's competing demand for straw as mulch or livestock feed. So a pioneering system allows post-harvest grazing for just 30 days. Enough straw remains for mulching. Ab Rabu explains. You can really see the difference between my farm and that of my neighbor. Despite the steep slopes, conservation agriculture has reduced erosion and improved the soil. Dynamic agroforestry is a form of mixing trees and crops that evolves over time. It's biodiverse and stores large amounts of carbon. It can recover degraded land while ensuring food security. In Bolivia, Don Bernabe Ramos and his wife describe their success. Many people come to see our crops. When they see the dynamic agroforestry system, they feel obliged to change. Vegetated graded buns are traditional cross-slope barriers. They stop soil erosion, yet allow excess rainfall to flow away safely. Fodder grass and shrubs stabilize the buns and provide feed for cattle. In the Gosh Learning Watershed in Ethiopia, neighbors have constructed a continuous system of buns across their land. Organic vegetable production uses livestock manure and insecticides are made from natural products. Soil health and agrobiodiversity improve. In Cambodia, Miss Tay Chat's system combines vegetables, a pond for irrigation, and house cattle for manure. Such practices show how improvements to production can trigger uptake and propel the spread of SLM. <laughs>